right, eh? Somewhere, let's say. This is me getting a Jake up. I think I got a wee bit of skin cancer, you know. You no, know he's up the DSS. Make them think I can afford a holiday abroad. <laughs> Here, fetch. Run, run, fetch. This is my new pet, old ship. I've met it. I've got a wife and two wains, so I mean, it's nice to get a wee bit of affection for a change. All right, boy. Ho, oh, ho! Oh. You see that, you see that? He's a frisky wee swine, so he is. <laughs> hey, takes after his old dad, in actual fact. I'm just saying to them, I'm just saying, you're a stud, didn't you? You're nothing but a wee sex machine, eh? Go on, here, fetch! Go on, oh! <laughs> Look at that, look at him! He's a heat strong wee swine, so he is. I know what he's thinking, by the way. Mental governed bastard. <laughs> Are you a boy, you're right? Don't you ever forget it! <laughs> oh, actually, uh, I actually thought about getting a dug. But I mean, dugs is noisy critters, you know. And they're always doing their business in public. You know what I mean? I mean, they're no, they're no sort of civilised like us human beings. Did you sweet me? Down, ship, down, down, down. All right, boys. Lovely day, eh? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, it's one of these days it makes you feel great to be alive, doesn't it? What kind of talk's that in Govan? What, what, what do you mean? I'm just smiling. Aye, that's how it starts. First you're smiling, then you'll be drinking aqua libras. Next thing you'll be shacked up in a beach house in Malibu with Kim Bassinger. <laughs> you are over, Nesbitt. You'd sooner sleep with a Hollywood sex goddess than push in a phone box with your pals. What? Yeah, never, never, never. What am I talking about? I'd rather sleep with a ninja turtle than hang about with him, you know? You know your problem, Nisbet. You've turned normal. Normal? Don't you call me names. Who the hell are you calling normal by? Listen, you hear to me. I was deranged when you were still lying in your cot using your willy as a tent pole wondering what to do with your hands. Normal, is it? Normal! Don't talk to me. Listen, I have had electric shock therapy, boy. I mean, I'm stoking about here. I'm stoking about here with a canary on a lead and, 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 and talking to myself. You try to tell me that it's normal. It isn't, Govan. Ah, uh, fair enough. You've got a point now. See that? You see that? That's the trouble we're living about here. It's no sufficient to keep your, to keep your feet in the flare. You've got to keep your head in the gutter as well, you know? <laughs> Talking about shite, where's Cora day, by the way? The barber's getting his highlights done. Boy, oh, that's good share news for Dulux then, Andre, eh? Don't try and suck in with me. You think you're a big man because you've got a split personality, but young, young McGurn's more mental than you any day of the week. Ah, come in, line your own pish. <laughs> Sorry about that wee indelicacy there, but, you know, sometimes I prefer the verbal bludgeon to the rapier. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good shit. Order! Order! John William Pure Med Mental Into your body, Simpson Craig Gable Chip the Bam Rib Wrecker, no real Young Rebel, your best, St John McGurn you're a thug and a hooligan. <laughs> Aye, that's right. Give a dog a bad name. Quiet! My lord, my client's character has undergone a change since his youthful criminal days. Fatherhood has given him a sense of responsibility. Bloody right. That's my offspring up there. Hey, there's a gun, Bimbo, son. Hey, 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 hey. Get it up! Yeah. My lord, my client has even written you a full and frank apology for the crimes he has committed against society. Where is it then? He ate it, my lord. <laughs> ate it? Yes, but even that represents a significant behavioural advance. Why? He had threatened to eat you, my lord. <laughs> that is right too, by the way. My behaviour is advanced. In fact, I not only love my neighbour, but given half a chance, I will eat the bastard as well. <laughs> What are you looking at? You want devoured, eh? No. Mm. Yeah! Silence! Any more of this 
gothic horror show now clear the chamber. Mr. Horswell, what on earth is wrong with this client of yours? I would plead for leniency, my lord. My client has a human problem. What sort of human problem? Well, he isn't really human. He's from Wine Alley. In addition, his teenage daughter is involved with an older man. This caused him some distress. Aye, that is true also, by the way. And when I'm distressed, I eat people. I mean, it's only fair, isn't it? McGarren, I'm going to fine you for your offences and allow you time to pay. You are outside society. People like you have not so much escaped the social work safety net as chewed your way through it. But I warn you, come before me again and you will go to prison for a very long time. You may go. Yes! Hey, Brimberson! Got my transport! Aye, it is coming to do that! Hey, Brimberson! You got my chip! Aye, here is that! Well done. A victory for common sense. Rocks. Hey, Bimbo, what do we know about this walking dinner that's been whapping the meat up our Tracy? Nothing much, that. But he left his footprint on the sill just as he disappeared at the kitchen window. I see. Did you not get a swatch at his coupon? Nah, not really. Who's a kind of pathetic looking middle aged grunter? No. Oh, aye. He was wearing a pair of white training shoes. You watching, Ab? You watching? Yeah. Aye, aye, I'm watching, I'm watching. I love a shoe that leaves a good imprint, Rab. In fact, see when I die, that's what I want them to say about me. Some men climb Everest. Some men write symphonies. But James A. Cotter left a good imprint when he stood in a puddle. No. Aye, aye, aye. I the hell you'd shut up. We're entering Apache country here. That's terrible, that. See, it's people like that that's giving violence a bad name nowadays. Ah, exactly. It makes you nostalgic for the old days, doesn't it? You know, you go when you stagger through an underpass with a hatch in your head, or some junkie using your ass as a dartboard, you know? <laughs> no morals, Rab, no morals. Just as well we brought a skateboard, eh? Ah, exactly. There might be an ambush here. Plant the fake carry out on it. Yeah, that'll keep them occupied and we'll get hit for the chicken run. <laughs> hey, Rab, ready when you are. Ready, go! I'll tell you something, you have no half to have a clear heat to be drunk these days, you know? <laughs> Hello, I see you here. We outflanked them with our superior intelligence. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. There's a note on it. Uh, what does it say? Why don't you are reading this thinking you have outflanked us with your superior intelligence? We are up your hooses blagging your microwaves and videos. Best wishes of my guns. Ah, oh, <laughs> we're not going to fall for that old trick, are we? Think me, I'll rap. Ah, you're bloody right, well. Come on, get Jilde! Jilde! Come on! Come on, me! To get in. They broke in. They broke in? What do you mean they broke in? They stormed the door in the traditional McGurn wife. Aye. Heed first. <laughs> I mean, we tried fighting them after, but they had superior technological hardware. Aye. The governed cruise missile. Not only does it leave the building standing, but it blags it and leaves a turd in the carpet as well. <laughs> Look! Look <laughs> at bastards. <laughs> You'd better clean that up, Rab. 
I'm looking anywhere near it. I feel solid. We are solid. We're Nesbits. Shut it, you. You must right. You boys don't realise the kind of world we're living in here. The kind of things your, your mother and I try and protect you against, like drugs and violence and work. Ah, exactly. I mean, the world's not a place it used to be. I mean, fair enough. I mean, I might be a, I might be a parasite, but, but there is a breed of super parasite out there now that, that, that makes us Nesbits look like the bloody royal family. Oh, come on, Robert, not that bad. Oh, well, maybe no, but I mean, you get a point. I mean, look at that. Look at that, look at this. The thing was shit, man. What kind of vermin would do a thing like that? I mean, it's scum terms. That's like pulling the plug in a life support machine. But it could be worse, Dad. They could write the family allowance book. No chance. No chance. I've got that in my personal safety deposit box. Oh, that's disgusting. You think that's bad? He used to keep it shoved up his ass. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. This is a family crisis here. Your whole value system's under threat. I mean, where the hell are they always picking an us for? Well, it's just for Donald Doctor. But young John McGurn got let off with a suspended sentence, so they're celebrating by having a house warming. And it's your house they chose to warm. <laughs> oh, yours, Rab. Look at that. What's that? He did. And he stepped on my blue suede shoes. <laughs> That's the only thing they'll step on when they find out with you and Tracy McGurney. Ah, shut it, you! <laughs> what was that? Nothing, Elihan. I, I, I was just saying it's high time something was done about them McGurns. True enough. But what's a hanging dewdrop that you're going to do about it? <laughs> Ring their doorbells, fill your trousers and sick them to death. <laughs> that, that is a slur, by the way. Ella's right, Rab. We can't go on living in fear like this. If the police will only do something about it, yous will have to. Us? Yous. <laughs> What is it? It's your Dan Kent. Oh, da! Aye, aye! What do you two want? Eh, uh, have you ever thought of letting God into your life? <laughs> oh, shut it, dude. Listen, you. We've got my road there, right? Have you just broken into your hooses? Aye. What of it? It's nothing. It's just as long as we know. Well, cheery by you now. She, 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 there. She, your type. She, your type. I can't stick your type. I mean, if you've got a tea leaf, tea leaf half of them that can afford it. Don't, don't thieve half of, half of them that's just as skint as yourself. See, you people, see, you people. You have nothing but a living embodiment of a Rottweiler culture. That's what you're wrong, see? I don't have a Rottweiler. No, any more. I want him to. I'm eating it. <laughs> and see if I lay my horns on the gink that's nipping my Tracy. I'll eat him too. What gink? A pathetic old grunter. We white trainers. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> oh, I'm to you, huh? All right, James. 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 Bimbo, son. Get me that footprint for half the kitchen windowsill. Right, Dad. Anything else? Aye. Get me my bib and toothpick. What the name of... All right, Jamesy. You two. You shouldn't sneak up behind an ex-bar Lenny man. He's a lively like he got hurt at. Aye, he might break your toes when he faints at your feet. <laughs> you watch it. Well, you'll get what my gun just got. Robbing me of Marty's card. You squared up to young, young McGurn. You no fear? No me. No us kid. No much fear anyway. Right. See yous. <laughs> D 
dinner is served. Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the border. Hello, big Saddam. Eh? Look at the eyes. I bet he's no bother getting a single payment out of the DSS. Aye, he might be a psychopathic despot without a shred of human feeling in his body. But he's a man's man, isn't he? Right. Here, maybe we could get him into push over the governed sick children's charity bottle. Who do you think? Nah. Saddam's a nutter, but he's not that good a nutter. That honour can only go to a governed nutter. Yeah, a big change with psychiatric nurse in this nori, eh? I think so. <laughs> he's going to turn that down. I abhor violence. There's not enough love in the world. Isn't that right, Ram? Because I've no enough for you anyway. The only man that would be treated up at a clinic for friction burn to his walloper. That's <laughs> <laughs> I've been now be a vegetarian cookbook lately. What are you talking about? What's been a heavy satire? Don't come to innocent with me. You know fine well what I'm talking about. We Theresa McGovern, eh, running about with her. A wee lassie half your age. Good God, if your brain was as big as your libido, you'd have enough sense to know better. That's a slur. I respect that bint. I love her for her mind. Oh, well, that's right. Oh, aye. That's because she's got the dirtiest mind in government. You take a wee bit of advice from me and use that excuse for a noddle of yours before young, young McGurn uses your bullock pouch for a bumba. Mind your language. We don't want trouble in this pub. I'm not causing any trouble here. I'm just trying to wise up this glake article, that's all. Oh, is this, uh, is this a bottle for a sick wains here? <laughs> I expect you'll be wanting me to push it out this year again, as normal. There's only one pushover in here, Nesbitt, and that's you. That's great, isn't it? How do you manage to speak with still having a bolt through your neck, eh? <laughs> he never said it. I said it. Oh, aye, uh aye, -huh. It's true what they say, isn't it? Inside every big tit, there is a wee tit struggling to get out. <laughs> I used to respect you, Nesbitt. But it's time you moved out for a bigger man. Where's that fact? And who might that be like? Come ahead, Nesbit. Young blood rules, OK? I'm warning you. Any violence in your bart. Oh, relax, relax. I'm not going to fight anybody. I don't know what's more yellow. You are that thing. I mean, why should I resort to violence when I've got a wee pet to do that kind of thing for me? Ship. Kill. I've just said a bit of nothing. Ah, 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 ah
Could you not commute? I had thought about that. Unfortunately, there's not enough zones on my travel car. Sausage on a stick? No, thanks. It's no an offer, pal. It's a promise. Bimbo! Hi, da. Fast food. Right, da. Oh, what? See, my dad, has he always been a nutter, is it? Somebody said to work it. Don't you be so lippy. I'm allowed to be lippy, I'm disturbed. Aye, look, there is City and Girls in the war. That's no a City and Girls, that's a psychologist report. Rab, will you speak to them? Please, there is no glamour and violence. Any half wit can get themselves arrested for bodily assault. Aye, and he should know. He's been arrested for it 83 times. That's not a point, is it? The point is, as you get older, you learn to question things. There's always a reason for violence. It is just a matter of using the old grey matter. <laughs> Rob! Rob! This myth's a waste of good arse, really, isn't it? <laughs> Rob, are you all right? Hey, hey, look. There are notes attached. What's it say? Yeah. <clears throat> there is no reason for this. We just like chucking bricks through windows. Sincerely, the McGurns. Yeah. I don't have to touch some amount of shit, do you? <laughs> James. Help me! I'm a takeaway! <laughs> <laughs> You're quite comfortable there, pal! Oh, fine, thanks. I prefer a table bit of one day, you know? Don't you get lippy! Good <laughs> Excuse me, thank you very much, sorry. Oh. Look at him, boy. Look at him. It's amazing what comes scuttling out from underneath the rocks when there's a when there's a wee bit of human drama on tap, eh? Not a social anthropologist, not a not a press, not a rubberneck, you know. And that's a big see when you get right down to it. See us? We're bigger bloody cannibals than that Egypt is up there. You know what I mean? Alright then, boss. Ah, oh, there you are. Now, remember, McGowan is criminally insane. He's pathologically disturbed and he's socially alienated. There isn't a decent human being alive who could hope to strike up a rapport with him. That's why we're asking you. Have you got enough a word with him? Aye, no bother, but no bother at all, aye. It's amazing what you get roped into when they offer to wave your outstanding fines, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here, uh, hold my dog a wee minute, will you? Hell a hen, you all right? Bearing up. Now remember, Mrs. Gordon, your husband's in a state of extreme trauma here. Reassurance is the name of the game. All right? Right. Ha! Oh, Carter! <laughs> ya knacker, white shoed, mobile glander, ya! <laughs> you better hope that flesh eating article makes a clean job of you. Because if it doesn't, I'll be out there to make sure you make a decent sized pulp in this pavement. <laughs> Thanks. I feel much more reassured now. <laughs> ah, stop whimpering! I'll cut you loose! <clears throat> oh, alright. Alright. You mental? Uh, well, I do my best, no. <laughs> what were you saying? Psychotic. With cannibalistic tendencies. <laughs> That kind of gives me seniority. Ah, uh, I suppose so, aye. Hey, Rob! It's good to see you. Well, hear you anyway. Shut up, you! You poisoned my daughter! Ah, oh, 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 oh. come on, come on! For God's sake, I mean, so did half a coven. We get them on chairs, I mean, we have seats out there in the Odeon and Rent Field Street. Hey, that's my sister you're talking about. Oh, God! 
Come down or you're a dead man! <laughs> surprise, surprise. Does he not know I've been dead for 20 years? Hey, Rob. There's one walking time warp to another. Can you keep a secret? I sure wish I. Sheila, eh? Imagine the humiliation there. A cannibal with false teeth. <laughs> Don't you worry, big man. Your secret is safe with me. Will you come down? All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, Bimbo, son. Remember what I tell you. you. Sell the story of your childhood on a first right spaces only. Separate contract for overseas TV rights and film options. Full expenses for all exclusives. Oh, and don't do more than three wogans in a single tax year. <laughs> Cheerio, sir. Da! It's all right, son. Our family's gonna be somebody's as soon as my arse hits that pavement. And listen, if they go for a miniseries, you hold out for Gary Oldman, okay? Tony Hopkins is subtle, but... Well, he lacks empathy. <laughs> Be good, Sonny. Right, ya bombs! You asked for it! Get out of here! Da! <sighs> no bad haul, eh? One police inspector, two social workers, and a psychologist. <laughs> You get right, didn't you? Life is like a party. You want to make a good impression, it's just a question of knowing the right time when to leave, you know what I mean? See this? Govern State Funeral. Not half a lot of mourners, eh, Rab? Mourners? They're no mourners, Chris. They're debt collectors. <laughs> What do you reckon, boys? Can the crisis loan arms do better than that? Bloody, Bloody right. right. Rab, I have prepared the funeral for a govern canary. <laughs> Thanks, James. Thanks very much. I wanted it. Yeah, jump to the air! To the air.